Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go. Check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video. Check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. So today, you guys, I am doing um, my pancakes. Nothing special. This is just a box mix, but I do add some things to them. So I'm going to be doing some some banana pancakes and some blueberry pancakes. So let's get into it. I have two bowls with my um, pancake mix. It's just a store-bought add water pancake mix. Nothing special like I said, but I do like to kind of soup my pancakes up a little bit. So we're going to be doing a banana caramel pancake and we're going to be doing a blueberry cinnamon pancake. So here we go. Got my batter in here already. Excuse my reach. I am sorry for that. And then just add some water. That's all the recipe calls for is just a little water. So I'm going to do that. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you are doing well. I hope you are blessed and highly favored. I know this is a little different from what I normally do. But you guys, my channel actually, in my mind, I had um, a cooking channel. That's what I thought I would do because so many people that I work with have tasted my food. You know, you do um, potlucks at work and everybody brings something. And so many people had tasted different things I made like cakes and, you know, pasta salads and soups and things like that. And they kept saying, you should have a cooking channel. Your food is awesome. Um, and a lot of it really is homemade and then semi-homemade. And I say semi-homemade because you kind of just take something that's partially prepared like this, um, the batter, of course, and then you add to it so it becomes semi-homemade. But um, they always said, you should have a cooking show. You should have a cooking show. And I'm like, oh, okay, um, don't really know about that. But that's how my channel started. And that's what I was supposed to be doing. And I just got into mukbangs somehow. It just seemed like... I love to cook, but I love to eat too. So that's what it morphed into. So let's set this here just for the moment. I have a banana. I don't know if I'm going to use the whole thing. I'm going to start by cutting it in half now. But I'm just going to mash it up with a fork. Let's move that so you can see. Oh, got blueberries everywhere. Mash it up with the fork, the back of a fork, just to get it to where it blends in good with the batter. If you like chunky pieces, leave it chunky. Totally up to you. I think a little bit more of this banana. And guess what? We're not wasting, so who's gonna be the piggy and eat the rest of it? That'd be me. I'm just going to add the bananas to the batter. And then I have some banana extract. I'm so sorry. I'm one of those southern cooks that doesn't really measure anything. I go by eye. I go by smell. I go by taste. So I'm just going to throw some banana extract in here. Kind of soup it up a little bit. And then I have this Ghirardelli Premium Caramel Sauce. I'm going to add that in here. Again, just whatever looks good to you. I don't really measure anything. I apologize for that. A lot of people ask me for my recipes for stuff. And I really can't tell you because, I mean, I can give you a ballpark kind of ideal, but I don't really that way. This is just pink salt guys. A little bit of salt. You need it. Let's see if my hot plate is hot enough. 
I am going to do a little bit of the EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin. And I do a little bit of that, but I also like to do a little bit of butter. Oop, thought some paper was on there. It's not. No paper. Grab my spatula. Move this butter and this oil around. So anyway, today, you guys, is Thursday. We are almost at the weekend. What do you guys have planned? Hopefully something fun. With the summer being here, just going to move that here. I hope you've got some wonderful plans. I'm just going to take a measuring cup um, to get my pancake batter onto this griddle. And I am actually going to have to turn the griddle up. Just going to do two at a time. That batter is a little loose, but I think it's going to be fine. I'm not going to adjust it. We'll see how it rolls. Anyway, this is the blueberry batter. Same thing. Just add your water. messing. Cooking can be messy sometimes. It's fine. I don't mind it at all. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Yeah. Then we're going to put in got vanilla extract, but I thought I'd run out, so I got my other bottle out. Yeah, that's totally not enough. I need some more. Open this one up and just add some vanilla. Add some big, fat blueberries, you guys. Look at these blueberries. They're huge. Yum. Keep eating them, they won't make it into the batter, so I better knock it off. Oh, an escaped blueberry. A runaway berry. So you don't want to really mix this too much because you don't want to break your blueberries up. And then in this recipe, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I like cinnamon. I just, I don't know. It's good to me. And then a pinch of salt. Turn these down. Try to fold this in more than mix it in. It's like I said, you don't want to bust up your blueberries. You want them to stay whole. And I found in making these in the past that my blueberry pancakes stand up really big and thick and my banana pancakes, they are just tiny. And I guess instead of being greedy and eating that piece of banana, I could have put banana slices on top, but I didn't because I wanted to eat it. So there's that. <laughs> and they're not really the first ones, you guys, I hate because they always stick into your pan or your griddle kind of gets used to the oils and whatever. It, they always stick. But when the bubbles come, that's when you know you're ready to turn them. And you guys know how to make pancakes. It's not rocket science. It's just the way that I make mine. I just want to come on here and share a little breakfast with you. Now this one don't want to act right because I can't get under it. We're going to get it. There we go. And then, you guys, I add more butter because I just do. So I take a little, just a little thin bit, not much, 
and I put it on top and let it melt down in there. And then another piece for the other one, just a little bit, just a little bit guys, not too much. Now for these pancakes, when they're done, I tend to add syrup on both of them, but you could actually put this caramel sauce on the banana ones, since there's caramel in it, and then just put your um, regular syrup on your blueberry ones. Totally your choice. So you guys, this weekend, I have no plans. I know I asked you about your plans, but I'm working. <laughs> I've been off for over two weeks, well, two weeks and a couple days, so I got to get back at it. I got to get back out there and start making my coin. Got to get my pennies together for the next vacation. I'm so ready, and I, you know, it's not even vacation time again yet. I won't get any more significant time off until, of course, next summer. I will get a little bit of time off around the holidays, as always, but... It won't be a whole lot of time until next summer. And next summer, I would like to rent a cabin in either Tennessee or in Georgia. I've rented in Tennessee before. Actually, I've rented in Tennessee twice, but I've never rented in Georgia. So I would love to do that. We'll see how it goes. I tend to flip my pancakes a couple times, guys. I know. Probably really don't have to, but... Once you put the butter on the one side, and then you flip it back over, the butter, of course, browns it up some more. So, why not? I like my pancakes brown. I don't like, like, really um, light-colored, doughy pancakes. I, I can't do it. So, I like them brown. You guys, my little apron I'm wearing today, I made this when I was back in high school. You know, back in high school when they actually taught your kids how to cook and sew and clean and write a check and budget bills back in home economics. Yeah, I'm dating myself, but I'm that old. Um, that's when I made this little apron. It's got pockets in it and I have it folded down, but it actually is an apron that comes up around my neck and it's got my name on the front of it. So, you know what? They need to get back to the basics. Because these kids coming out of school now, boys and girls alike, don't know how to do nothing. Nothing. They don't even know how to open up a can of soup. Okay? Much less make an apron or cook a meal. And these girls out here, so busy twerking and doing all kind of craziness, learn how to cook your man a meal. Do that. My daughters can cook. Because I wasn't playing no games. No games played over here. You're going to learn how to cook and sew and balance your checkbook and everything else. Whatever school didn't teach you, mama got it. I taught them because I just learned that way. And I think it's a good qualities to have. It's just get out there and to be twerking and jumping around and wearing half a piece of shirt. <laughs> I can't do it. Well, totally I can't do it. But you know what I mean. I can't do it. I wouldn't do it if I could do it. Anyway, these are done, you guys. I'm going to just take them off and set them to the side. Just like that. And then I need to put a little more butter on here. Butter up that griddle. Y'all hear that sizzle? And if I need to put some oil, I will. And then this batter has set, it has set up and got so chunky that I think I may have to use a spoon for it. Grab me a spoon. Yeah, spoon is the best bet for this one. No, we shall not get that blueberry over there. Trying to escape. I don't know what's wrong with these blueberries trying to run off. And that's the blueberry ones. Set that to the side. 
So anyway, yeah, I really think that um, girls today, and, and, and boys, girls, men, young men, young women, should know how to do those things. Just should come out of school with some life skills, some everyday skills that they can do. Um, but I think a lot of times they're just pushed through the system just because the schools are overcrowded, the kids and they're acting up, they don't want to learn, they ain't listen to the teacher, they fighting the teacher, you know, and so the teachers in there basically, it's not funny, but they basically in there just trying to survive. They just trying to make it home at night to their family because these kids are terrible. But anyway, um, I thought about being a teacher. I really thought that was something I wanted to do because I love education and I love to mentor and I love the sharing of knowledge and, and all of that. But I went a whole different route. I still am able to share knowledge and teach uh, somewhat, but I am not a teacher. Um, but I said, mm -mm, no, I'm, I'm not going to go that route because I can't, I can't deal with the kids. I, you can't spit on me. You can't slap me. You can't be standing up in my class trying to beat on. No, because I will open up an old fashioned can on you and I, we'll be fighting in there together. And I know that that's not the route to go. You, but look, now, when it comes down to defending yourself, it's me or them. It's going to be them. Lord Jesus, help me. But I, I'm trying to live, too. So teaching was, it's just not my thing. It was not going to be my thing. And I knew that because the kids are just, you know, they're just a little different. Now this light up here is acting up, y'all. So I forgive me if the video looked like we in the club and you got a strobe light going on because this light is blinking like it's about to go out on me. Hold on, let me see if I can do something about it. I doubt it. Nah, it's, it's about to go out. There we go. I don't know. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Now it's blinking again. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know I leave well enough alone. It stopped blinking and I kept messing with it. All right, let's check on these pancakes. Try not to make this video too long. I need to get to eating. Okay, got the blueberry ones flipped over. And Lord, I have way too much batter, but that's all right. What I'm going to do is go ahead and make those pancakes and I will freeze them and they can be reheated. My granddaughter, Selena, will definitely be the benefactor of that. She loves Nana's pancakes. So I will go ahead and make all of them and put some away for her. Get, this, get these crumbs off of here because they start to burn. There we go. So anyway, you guys, I am going to finish this up, get it plated up so you can see how pretty it is. And then we're going to eat. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished product. I know it looks more like dessert than it does breakfast, but I topped it off with some bananas and some raspberries and some blueberries and a little bit of Cool Whip to hold it all in place. And then the rest of the fruit I just scattered around the plate. And of course I had to have a little bit of protein, so I threw in a couple of slices of Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Can I talk or what? I'm drooling. I want to eat. So this ends my video for today. We're going to bring it to a close. I hope you enjoyed my little brief cooking tutorial, whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, but anyway, if you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite as well. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly, possibly be. 
I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. I gotta go because this is falling apart and I'm hungry. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I love you so much.